it's Priya from Mom's Pump here. <coughs> Excuse my voice. <laughs> I'm drinking some greens, trying to clear it up. Um, we, we are live for our weekly chats, and as usual, we're waiting for Super Sue to log on. We have a lot of stuff to talk about today, especially Super Sue's new business idea. Well, it's not an idea anymore. She did it. Girl, she did it. <laughs> so while we're waiting, I am going to share our live video like usual and this week has been I can't believe it's not over yet <laughs> there's so much going on it's the holidays the kids have us busy um, running around they have all their Christmas lists uh, on the wall on the side you can't see it um, so we have to do a little bit of shopping now that the lists are up but um, in pure parent mode, we are hustling. I can tell you that much. All right, so let me share what we're doing. Okay. Give me one second. We are live. I sing everything. Oh, there's Super Sue. I see you, babe. <clears throat> Bringing her in. Hello. Okay, I'm just waiting for Sue to come in. So today okay. we are talking. Oh, there you are. Okay. I don't know. My phone was doing something really funky. I'm wearing a hat today because I'm like having like a really bad hair moment. Like I went outside to the store and, you know, it wasn't that, I mean, it was a little windy out. We've been like, you know, it's just like. Now it's just like in a position where it just wants to stay. Like I look like a wild woman. <laughs> you didn't have time to straighten it? No, I tried, but then it just went back to where the wind wanted to put it. And I'm like, forget it. I'm putting on a hat. I can't even like deal with it. I love your, so you've been wearing that beanie a lot. I love that. I, love I like it. It's very nice and comfortable. Yeah, it looks great on you. Thank nice you. and warm. Thank you. <laughs> so we have a lot to cover today. Yeah. And um, uh, I do want to talk about what you're doing. So let's start off with a really happy story. And I want to give a big shout out and a congratulations to my girl, Super Sue, because she is starting her, it's not even an idea anymore. She started her new business. So I want to give you, yay! 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 Let me see if I can turn up the volume on this. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and tell everybody what you did? Um, so for years, I've always, you know me, I've always loved candles. I've always been very picky about different scents and different scents and stuff. And there's only specific brands that I like in specific scents. So I said, you know what? I go, I'm going to just start making my own. And I said, when I made my own, I said, you know what? I could probably start a business and, you know, start selling them online if I wanted to. And so I haven't come officially launched yet. I gave a few people candles. Like I know I gave one to my parents. I gave one to you. Yeah. Um, I know that my niece loves the snickerdoodle scent. I know I do too. Oh. It smells like, uh, you know, it smells like somebody's baking cookies in the house. So it's. I want to try one of those. Yes. So oh, I've well, been, you I, know, I, I haven't I, officially launched yet. Cause I know that we, you definitely been giving me good advice about, you know, to do a soft launch, to a regular launch. So, but it's coming and then I'm going to start, you know, I'll let you know when my Instagram's up and when you can start ordering and what kind of scents and, you know, my website. So very excited. So right now, so right now are you in the, are you in the trial phase? Yeah. So I'm you... like in the trial phase. I'm, you know, with different, working with different scents. I have to thank my husband and my kids because if they're very brutally honest. I'll say like, no, this one we, we don't really like, you know, or it's too strong or it's too, you know, so I, li I like getting feedback like that. Can we talk about how you're using all organic stuff? Yeah. Talk it's about all, it's all soy ba based, uh, yeah, soy based wax and, um, the essential oils. So it's, you know, I'm just very excited about it. I feel like I should do, I think I should do like a little mini like I should make a few different senses and maybe launch like a mini 
like a mini mom candle party so they can give me their feedback about what kind of candles they like, like the scents oh. and stuff. I love that idea. And then you could sell it to whoever wants their candle. Exactly. Right. There you go. I love that. So, oh. so maybe I'll oh. do that. Maybe I'll think about it maybe around, I don't know, maybe February, but right before Valentine's Day, you know, want to get a little romantic. Oh, I love that, Sue. So, so you're, so if anybody wanted to order, they can't do it now. They have to wait. Or uh, they, New York, they can come to the little mom party. Yes. Okay. And then we can live stream it. That would be so much yes. fun. Oh my God. And then we make like little sample ones so I can hand them out and stuff like that. So what's the name of the company? Okay. So uh, I named the company South Shore Candle Company, right? Uh, I know we, we had, a, I was thinking, thinking like what name, what name? And because I live out in Long Island and I live on the South Shore and the name was available, which I was really surprised. I snatched it right up and then I just, you know, that's it. So it's, That's uh, awesome. So, you know, being a mom, you know, and so now you're a work at home mom. You're not just a stay at home mom, even though stay at home moms are technically working. Yes. You're not a work at home mom. Well, running stay at home moms, I think, are unappreciated moms. They don't realize that yeah. running a household is not, it's not a walk in the park. It's Especially not. when you and have then, the little ones at home. And then yeah. the when you're just like, I am so busy. I got so much crap to do right now. Yeah. And you think about it, it's a, it's a 24 seven job. There's, yeah. It's non so 24 seven, we don't punch out. If we don't say five o'clock, okay, you know, mom's off the clock now. We don't do anything. Mm -hmm. We're on the clock all the time. That's why I tell my husband all the time. I go, you may go to a, physically go to a job and physically yeah. get a paycheck. But I go, I'm on the clock 24-7, you know? Mm -hmm. And when do you get a break? You you know, you don't really get a break. Now you just, Well, I mean, now. when the kids are in school, I do get a little bit of a break now. I feel I could squeeze in a break and be like, you know, between chores and stuff like that, to have like a little me moment, you know, having your cup of coffee, coffee or something, you know. Well, not anything stronger at the moment, but <laughs> <laughs> that's like... All right. That would be like right. mom shamers might, you know. Do you have an example? You could like show yeah. the camera. Oh, let me see if I can. Can I switch this around? I don't even know. Hold on a second. So, oh, sorry. Close up. Okay. So, uh -huh. my little display. I love it. So, originally, you know, I think I'm going to start out with these tins. It's really cute. This is about like eight ounces. So, which is great. And then... Well, I know you told me said to keep some open, but I That's can't okay. open it. So they're all no, white. They're not dyed. If you could smell no, it, they really, they really smell good. I love and then eventually that. I'm going to move over to glass, which I really liked how this, you know, looked. So, but I, I think I am going to start with the tins, which I think is really cute because it's almost like a rustic look. Uh-huh. So... But there's a, like so far, I have like Snickerdoodle, Apple Orchard. I have Fraser Fur. It's not here. Oh, you do? Holly Berry. Oh, I love Fraser Fur. Okay. Well, this is it right here. I haven't put a label on it yet. <laughs> oh, well, that's mine. Claim. So, <laughs> so <laughs> let me turn this back around. So I. I do want to say how perfect the candles look like you did a phenomenal job i know I, well, I showed it to you and you said right away i'm like oh i love the packaging i like your labels you know and i, I mean, was like they even have like little, they even have like the little warning labels on the bottom and i got like the huge stickers because uh -huh. i know how some people like as we get older our eyesight are not too great <laughs> so i was like let me get the biggest sticker possible so people can read the warning about you know just safety of you know, not leaving the candle burning unattended and and not to burn it for no more than four hours. Or around your kids. <laughs> yeah, or keep them up. If you have little ones, definitely keep it up high so they can't reach for them. Yeah, I, you did a phenomenal job. Thank Congratulations. you. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty. Yes. So, Brelfie, I called it Brelfie shaming because the dad was taking, um. what is it called? Brelfie, so breastfeeding selfies, sort okay. of, was, or the dad was taking the picture, 
So mom at Disney uh, was openly breastfeeding her son. I think her son was like eight months old. Um, her name is Brittany, and I have the article open here. I'm going to share it in the comment section. And a bunch of moms, now, if you know, if you, if you don't know already, Disney <coughs> has baby care centers. Yes. And they're all, they're all listed on the Moms Pump Here app. And moms could go to the care centers and breastfeed or pump. And, yeah. You know, they could just unwind if it's really hot outside. The whole family could pile into the center and just hang out. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they're far, far and few between. Um, I was going to say the same thing. Like, you know, that mom could have looked for a nursing room and just realized, like, just not even just the distance, but also we have to take into factor that it's crowded and then you're going to, you know, you know, at that point, you're getting, you know, you don't want to get frustrated. The baby's getting frustrated because he's hungry or she's hungry. And then you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to do it right here. What's the big deal? You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, hi, Tahara. <laughs> so, the, the, the baby care centers are not a lot of them in Disney. And the mom was like, you could see that she looks hot. Her hair is up. She has it in a bun in the picture. Yeah. And she has a tank top on, and she could give two craps. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. So she was breastfeeding in line, and two women behind her were talking really loud, according to the article, and they were saying how she should go to a restroom and breastfeed, which I thought was really effed up because, I mean, the reason why we started Moms Pump here is because we don't want moms to have to breastfeed or pump in a bathroom stall or in a parked car. A bathroom's really unsanitary. Yeah. <clears throat> and sometimes you have bathrooms that are separated. Thankfully, some places have provided seating for moms in a different area of the bathroom. It's not next to the toilet, which is great, but it's still in a bathroom. <laughs> so this mom, she's out, she's doing her thing at Disney, and she has a, doesn't have any place to stop. So she just openly breastfeeds, which is her prerogative, and Disney allows. It's a family place. Yes. So these two um, nasty women... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to say, like, I don't know if it's maybe, you know, I don't want to make an excuse for those other women, but they maybe grew up in a time, like, they seem like they were a, a little bit older. Let me look at the picture. Because I, told I saw the I saw the article twice. One person, one, one time the article, the, the people were, their faces were blurred out. And then one yeah. article, I saw the two women's faces and, um... And it wasn't blurred out. And they looked a little bit, like, on the older side. And mm -hmm. I want to say, not, like I said, not to give them an excuse is why it was okay to mom shame her. Um, yeah. But, the you know, they, it's possible they grew up in a time where they were a little bit ignorant and didn't understand, you know, you know, maybe they grew up thinking, like, no, you have to cover yourself. Maybe they should be a little bit more um, understanding and more... Mm -hmm try to be more modern and more ahead of the time be like you know what you know back in jesus's time you know, you do you think somebody like yelled at at another mom no, if she was it was nursing natural. her exactly it was considered normal then so yeah i agree with that so the moms one one looks like the grandma and the other one looks like maybe or, they're I'm assuming they're moms i don't know if they're moms <laughs> one is older and the other one's young and she she's like this yes standing behind her. The body language and, was, was definitely. Yeah. was like, what? Yeah. What are you doing? The body you know, language is definitely not cool. And I, I think also Brittany, Brittany's boobs are huge and they're just like. Well, but then you understand like when you're nursing, you're, you're so engorged, you know, uh -huh. like sometimes you have to release yourself, you know, it's. I see Wade. Hi, Wade. Hey, Wade. <laughs> You better be watching. <laughs> um, yeah, so she, she, you know, and she, the, so the, the man, her husband took the picture and they posted it up on social media and it just blew up. Yeah. Um, but again, this is just one out of how many stories we've heard. That I just want to say, I just want to say, now I know that the mom might have not have been of in certain people's eyes a 10 or so forth but like if it was Giselle uh, Bunchen or if it was some like supermodel breastfeeding her you know baby 
uh, would she get, would she be mom shamed also? That's very true. And I think, you know, now that you bring that up, it could be because she's a brown girl. It's possible. You know, discriminatory in this, you know, it's, Disney's in the South. I'm not saying that these other two women are from the South, but you know, it happens more often down there. Yeah. And then as a brown girl, you looked at, you get, if you're doing that, <laughs> yeah, you know, you're more likely to get shamed than a Caucasian woman, unfortunately. Yeah. You know? Um, okay. Eggnog. I, I love eggnog. Do you love eggnog? Um, it's okay. I get a little nervous drinking it because it's considered like raw eggs. Well, it's so, I, so the article that you had sent me about it, um, and I was like, okay, we should t definitely talk about this, talks about the difference in um, different types of eggnog. I'm trying to copy it so I can put it in the, in the comments for everybody. And let me paste it. So there are different types. There's unpasteurized and there's pasteurized eggnog. Yeah. And technically, a breastfeeding mom should not drink unpasteurized eggnog. Oh, because... hold on. I got to grab my dog. Hold on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> unexpected. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> so what I was saying, and she'll come back to join the conversation, is that unpasteurized eggnog can have salmonella in it. And if you're breastfeeding, you're at risk for contracting salmonella. And it's very bad for you. Um, but you can put yourself at risk. You can put your baby at risk. But most eggnogs that are sold in the store that, are, don't, that don't have alcohol, that are stored, that are sell, sold in markets or at restaurants, because restaurants have regulations, are pasteurized. So, so the eggnog still has the raw eggs, but it's, you know what? I really have to look up what pasteurized means. <laughs> Let me do that right now. Let's see what pasteurized means. Pasteurized. Okay. All right, I'm back. Um, okay, I was just looking up what pasteurized meant because I'm, I'm saying the word and I, didn't, I don't know exactly what it means. So I was saying that there's two different types of eggnogs. It's unpasteurized and pasteurized. So breastfeeding moms can drink the pasteurized eggnog. They yeah. cannot drink the unpasteurized. And um, they're saying here the pasteurized eggs um, reduce the risk of foodborne illnesses and dishes. Yes, like salmonella. Yeah, they're not cooked. So they may be sold as liquid egg products or pasteurized in the cell, in the, in the, in the shell, cell. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. So they, I, I know that they do recommend, like, if you're going to drink eggnog, buy the store-bought kind because it's already pasteurized. Yeah. Um, and, of course, you know, if there's alcohol in the eggnog, you should definitely, you know, use your senses. You can have a little bit of alcohol. Um you don't overdo it with alcohol if you're breastfeeding. And if you, if you end up <laughs> drinking more than you should, um, you could save, save the breast milk for later. Um, um, pump you, and then wait a little kind of thing. Yeah. What? I was going to say, I was going to say the same thing. If you know that you're going to like party it up at the holiday party, because you're, you know, you definitely deserve to enjoy yourself because of the holidays, just, you know, kind of like look at your, nursing or pumping schedule and be like okay i'm gonna pump right before i drink and then so i have you know something um and then just wait until you know a few hours later was it was it like two hours later we said yeah about two hours two or three hours Af fine. yeah after your last pumping yeah no after and the I last drink body. yeah the drink last drinking yeah yeah <laughs> And the body does its own thing, you know, and the breast milk, of course, is full with lots of great nutrients for the baby. So, um, and definitely check with your doctor. Um, I always say that as the preface is, always check with your doctor, yes. just in case. <laughs> exactly. So, all this information, um, it's important to know, but always ask your doctor first. Yes. So, you're okay um, to have some, you know, wine and, you know, you know, some holiday cheer. Mm -mm. holiday cheer and it's so when i was when i was pregnant with ava and Jaden, um i used to drink communion wine that was my fix yeah <laughs> 
And the, and the church that we went to had the communion wine in little cups. Jesus so, juice. That's what they call it, Jesus juice. Exactly. So I'd be up there with my big belly, <laughs> and they would give me the little cup, and I'd be like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got my Manish Chevitz wine. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember we always used to drink that during the holidays. Yeah. Yeah, but it's so sweet. It's so sweet. Like, I can't drink it anymore. It's just way too sweet for me. Anyway, oh, look, all right. look, 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 see, she's falling asleep. She falls asleep standing up. Oh, Fiona. <laughs> Fiona. Fiona. No, no, she's asleep already. See, she's not even moving. Every time we go live, she's like sleeping next to you. It's like her nap time. No, no, nap time is all the time. The dog sleeps constantly and she's not old, you know, she just, uh -huh. she's, it's just the bulldog in her. She just, you know, she's a little bit more active when the kids are home. But other than that, oh. she's, uh, you know. She just I'm sure. she likes to sleep. Yeah. So so next week for our Facebook Live, we got to test it out before we actually go live on Wednesday. But we are interviewing the founder of Milk Stork. Ooh. So Milk Stork, yeah, Milk Stork is this great company that ships breast milk to wherever you are. So if you're if you're away on business and you've been pumping and you want to, your baby's not with you, obviously, you can ship the breast milk to your baby using Milk Stork. And they're a fantastic company, they're a startup, and they're making really great headway in their industry. That's all, and, you know, we had to discuss, remember we, uh, what was it, last year we discussed, I think a celebrity had to dump their milk because she was oh, pumping yeah. on the airlines and stuff like that. Yeah. So this she, is actually really, I forgot the person's name. Um, it's, it's not coming to me, but I remember that. Yeah, I, I remember that, but I don't remember the person's name either. Yeah, so you shouldn't have to do that. So there are, there are now companies that offer to uh, ship it for you, which is fantastic. So we're into, her name's Kate, and we're interviewing her next Wednesday. So make sure you tune in for that, and we'll advertise it, you know, a few days before so everybody can, can set their calendar. Yes. <laughs> okay, so anything else today? Uh, mm, mm, I can't think of anything. Nope. <laughs> so make sure... You check out our blogs online, go to momspumphere.com. Use our locator to find locations to breastfeed and breast pump. You can download the app on iTunes and Google Play. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and you can go, so all these videos, all these live videos. So Su Super Sue and I are like, Okay, it's going to be too difficult to drive to each other's house to film hashtag the pink life. So we're doing these lives weekly, which is so <coughs> my voice is like going <laughs> like so much easier. So all these live videos are going on YouTube. So you can catch the recap there and subscribe to all the other videos that we have. Yes. All right. So we'll talk to you later. Thank all you right. Everyone. Bye, guys. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.